3-0 victory here at Homestill Park. Only game in March, of course, but I guess that's the kind of performance and victory that you wanted to see all season. Yeah, we should have had a number of them this season, shouldn't we? And for whatever reason, it didn't happen. But, you know, I weren't over, overly pleased with the first half performance, although I was overly pleased we went in 2-0. And I think we've probably played a lot better here this year and actually lost. So I just felt that was a little bit flat after last week. We didn't play with the same intensity. I know that it weren't a local derby, but, you know, we was wasteful. We could have probably gone in three or four. And then just before half time, Finchie's made a great save. If not a game that we're in no trouble with whatsoever, we could have gone in 2 1. And I got into the lads a little bit at half time. Um, and I thought the first 20, 25 minutes of the second half, we really controlled the game, got another goal, and we played really well for 20, 25 minutes, and then it went a little bit raggy. There was a lot of free kicks and wins, obviously difficult conditions, but I'm pleased with the result, 100%. I'm pleased with the performance in the main year. And, you know, we've lost one game in 11 or 12 or something like that, at Bedworth, where we just didn't turn up. And... Uh, I want us to finish the season strong, and that's what that's what we're trying to do. It seemed that after the third goal went in, another another tap in from close range, that it was all about game management. Then to keep the clean sheet and just uh, see the game out. Yeah, clean sheets is clean sheets are gold, aren't they? And we kept enough this year, but I think Keeble and Milne played really well again at centre half today. And apart from the the one save before half time. Don't think Finchie's had much to do, although I thought he had a very good game. So they stuck it on him a little bit. They had a young keeper. We had a young keeper. Um, but I think Finchie's a little bit better than the young keeper. Um, I think he's, you know, he's he's better than eighteen years old or nineteen. Or whatever. I think he's proved last week in a big game that he can he can stand up to the, you know, pressure of the land of the Giants, which which they was last week and today. When he's been called upon, he's made some good saves. He's kicked the board well. His distribution was good. So, yeah, that was a that was a. I wish we'd had a few more days like this at the office where the heart rate ain't gone through the roof and we're getting booed off and having difficult questions from yourself. But you know, that's that that was a you know, that was a, a, a good team performance. And of course now it leads you into what will be a very busy Easter weekend. Yeah. Uh, you're away next Saturday before coming back here on the first of April, all fools day to play Cambridge City. So uh, it will be busy. You got the team here? Because yeah, you've lost a couple of heads over the last couple yeah, of weeks. Yeah, we, we, we're paper thin, aren't we? We're paper thin, but with six games to go, with seven games to go, whatever it is, we're just going to have to suck it up, aren't we? we? You know, we've got we had two subs today and a, and a, and a kid. And that's, that just is what it is, isn't it? We, we're not going to spend money on trying to bring, bring in players at this stage of the season. So hopefully we don't get too many injuries between now and the end. But obviously Ryan got injured, young kid, and obviously... I think the youth team balls are actually away next week, so we're probably going to have to get one or two in just to fill the bench up. But yeah, that's, that's just just been that's just been difficult. It's just been when we look back on this season, that's that's going to be classed as a difficult season, certainly for myself. Um, results ain't gone how we wanted them to, and obviously the the issues we've had off the pitch, we've had to lose one or two players and not been able to build on anything. But uh, I, Hopefully we're going in the right direction. That's behind us now and we're looking forward. The lads who are here and myself who's here and my staff who are here and everyone around the club now is pulling in the right direction and we're working as hard as we can with what we've got and we're still managing to produce um, sort of performances on the pitch, which is regardless of whatever's going on at a football club, first team results is the be all and end all, so to speak. So, you know, we're happy with that and we're happy that we didn't just fell away and you know, died of death and again, 500 plus here for a mid-table game. Unbelievable. So grateful to the crowd to keep coming and supporting the boys. So I thank them very much. Um, and like I say, hopefully we can give them something to chair between now and the end of the season and hopefully in the next season. It's another difficult game last next Saturday though, isn't it? Away at Anstey. Yeah. And, um, you know, it's, it, you may need your subs. That's not a joke. But you might need your subs later on in the game because it's going to be a tough one. Yeah, they're very, very, very well organised team. Um, you know, they they've been together a couple of years, and you know, we went there in a trophy and they absolutely battered us. Mm. Um, we got a good draw here against them, where it could have gone either way. They had a man sent off late, late on when Toby was through, but they they keep asking the difficult questions. Mm. They keep the ball really well. They get the people in the right areas of the pitch. 
Um, they've got they've got good players. You know, that's that's a real test, similar to last week, similar mm-hmm. as well. They're the three outstanding teams in the league, aren't they? Harbour, Spalding and Anstey. And, you know, we've done all right against the top teams. You know, we've beaten Spalding, we've nicked a draw off Harbour last week when perhaps we've got more and we, we nicked a draw off Anstey here when we maybe could have got more. Mm-hmm. They, they probably could have got more. So we, we know exactly what sort of test we're walking into next week. They're going for the league title. I think that result with Harborough and Spalding today probably suited them. Um, both both of them dropped the two points. So yeah, you know maybe we can we can throw throw like I said last week we're we're everyone's mm. friend you know because we're we're we're, we're going to keep trying we need to throw the towel in that's dead cert we'll try and work till the end get as many points as we can and you know the pressure's all on them next week and that they've got to win the game and we're going there just to try and. You know, do do ourselves do ourselves well, and and hopefully pick some more points up and throw another spanner in the title race. Works excellent, Gary. We'll see you next week at Anstey. Thanks very much for your time. <laughs>